Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I wanted to talk about the Recon class for Battlefield 4. More specifically, its equipment and attachments, because as of right now, for Battlefield 3, while the Recon class is a lot of fun to play, it doesn't have a whole lot of customization when you're using the bolt-action rifles. You can use the straight bolt pull, or you can use the bipod, but everything else doesn't really suit a long-range killing class. I mean, a flashlight? You're never going to want to have that on the end of a sniper rifle. That's just going to that's just gonna give away your position. And while I guess some could argue that the laser beam, or the laser sight laser beam, the laser sight is a decent attachment because you can get snow scopes off a little bit easier, it doesn't suit the recon class. And so I've kind of come up with just a couple of ideas that I would kind of like to see in the upcoming game that would hopefully give the recon class a little bit more customization, especially when you, they're using the bolt action rifles. Uh, and so the first thing that I kind of had in mind is to implement three different bullet types. And the first bullet type would be exactly like what we have in Battlefield 3, where if you get an upper chest shot or an upper chest body shot up close, you're gonna drop them in one shot but then anything at medium to long range, you're still going to need to get a headshot to drop them. But then the other bullet type that I had in mind is something that does less damage and it's not going to give you the one shot kill even if you're up close and you hit them in the upper chest, but it's going to travel extremely fast and it's going to be meant for recons that like to play at a long range. It's going to get to the target faster, they're not going to have to deal with as much bullet travel speed, and it would be perfect for that type of playstyle. And then the third option would be on the completely opposite end of the spectrum, where it's going to hit really hard, that one shot killing potential for an upper chest shot would be extended, but the drawback would be is that it has a lot of bullet drop and it's going to take it a lot longer to reach its target, so it's not going to be very good for long range combat, but be perfect for players that like to play the aggressive recon role. They really enjoy, they really enjoy that type of playstyle. And I think if they added just these three types of bullets, it would open up so many more options for recon players. Not only could they choose their weapon, but they could also choose what bullet type they want to use and then really tailor their class and their setup to exactly how they want to play the game. Uh, and so my next idea involves Sniper Glint, and while we don't know if it's going to be the upcoming game, it could make a return, even though a lot of people currently don't like it in Battlefield 3. Uh, and so if it does make a return, it would be really nice if there was some sort of attachment that significantly reduced its effect so that it wasn't so apparent at range, or completely eliminated it. And I do know why DICE has it in the game. It's a mechanic in place so that people know where snipers are and they can't just stay way off in the distance and snipe people all day and have the enemy not know where they are and just continually die from that because that would, that would get very annoying. But at the same time, it would be very nice to have uh, something to kind of counter that. And even if even if DICE wants to make it so that you have to make the decision between uh, eliminating the sniper glint or using the straight bolt pole, I'm sure a lot of people would like to have that option in Battlefield 4. Uh, and so moving on to the equipment side of things, I kind of want to see the MAV and the tugs being replaced by the motion ball or something similar to that like we had in Battlefield Bad Company 2. I think the MAV is really cool in concept, being able to kind of fly up, support your allies, having the motion sensor, uh, spotting enemies for you. You can spot people. If you're in voice comms with your buddies, you can tell them exactly where the enemies are and that you can give them a huge advantage over everyone else. But at the same time, being up in the MAV all day long isn't really all that enjoyable. It's not a very fun experience. I mean, sure, it's kind of cool the first couple of rounds, but after a while, it's like, all right, I want to be down in the ground support or, you know, shooting people. I want to play the first-person shooter aspect of this video game. And so what I kind of want to see is to eliminate those two, the tugs of the MAV, and replace it with the motion ball because, personally, I think that the motion ball keeps you interacting with the world and doesn't just re uh, turn into kind of a thing that you play on the ground and becomes something that just allows camping snipers to be notified if someone is trying to flank them or to knife them in the back. That's because kind of what things have kind of turned into. Uh, and so if they did add the motion ball, not only would recons, if they want to take advantage of it, need to be a little bit closer to the battlefield, but they have to be constantly using it. It doesn't, it doesn't have a infinite lifespan. You throw it out, it will last for about 30 seconds, but you, you have to be active. You can't just place it down and forget about it. You need to be involved in the battle. You need to be throwing it everywhere that you think an enemy is going to be 
coming from and supporting your team that way. And personally, I think that would be a much, a much better direction for the motion sensor and kind of the recon aspect of this class. Uh, but yeah, so those are just a couple of ideas that I've kind of had bouncing around that I really do believe will give the recon in Battlefield 4 just a lot more customization options and more just kind of a further role and more active role in Battlefield 4. But I'd like to get your guys' opinion. Do you like the couple of ideas? Would you guys like there to be new gadgets that you've kind of created in your head that you think would be pretty cool for the upcoming game or a certain attachment that you would like to have on your bolt action rifles? Let us all know down below in the comment section. Uh, but yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.